the purpose of cuff in endotracheal tube is to a prevent dislocation b provide airtight seal in trachea c avoiding damage to trachea d make radiological location easy and the answer is b provide airtight seal in trachea the aim of cuff in endotracheal tube is to provide airtight seal to prevent aspiration airtight seal prevents liquids like secretions and any other solids like food from entering lungs seven number endotracheal tube means its internal diameter will be a 6 mm b 6.5 mm c 6.75 mm d 7 mm and the answer is d 7 mm the internal diameter of a 7 number endotracheal tube is 7 mm the tube number means its internal diameter so the internal diameter of 7 number tube will be 7 mm most commonly used laryngoscope is a miller b macintosh c mccoy d oxford and the answer is b macintosh the most commonly used laryngoscope by healthcare providers is macintosh Macintosh has a curved blade and is available in four different blade sizes. During intubation of newborn to insert endotracheal tube, the blade of laryngoscope is A cuffed tube with curved blade, B cuffed tube with straight blade, C uncuffed tube with straight blade d uncuffed tube with curved blade and the answer is c uncuffed tube with straight blade in newborn and neonates straight blade of laryngoscope is required to lift the epiglottis and the tube used should be uncuffed to prevent trauma to subglottic area as subglottis is the narrowest part what et tube cuff pressure measurement is ideal a 25 to 40 cm h2o b 18 to 30 mm hg c 20 to 30 cm h2o D 10 to 25 cm H2O and the answer is C 20 to 30 cm H2O The ET tube cuff pressure must be in a range that ensures delivery of the prescribed mechanical ventilation tidal volume reduces the risk for aspiration of secretions that accumulate above the cuff and does not compromise tracheal perfusion a minimal pressure of 20 cm h2o is recommended to prevent aspiration and ventilator associated pneumonia that is wap